Greetings, Witcher. What are you doing in this tower? I've a new theory. A milestone in alchemy. Everything is composed of particles so small they can't be seen. Uh -huh. They're constantly moving and acting upon each other. I have yet to confirm it, but I'm working on it. Um, maybe you can tell me about this later. Yes? Hmm. The Knights of the Order decimated us when we battled in the swamp. I know you had a hand in that. Yet you're alive. I still hope you'll come to understand who you are and choose the righteous path. Who would you say I am? You're no human, Geralt. Sooner or later the Order will remind you of that. We'll see. In due course. What are you doing here? Why aren't you with your elves? The Druid's Grove acts as a sanctuary where I can quietly think, lay plans. My going to Vizima presents an unnecessary risk. Part of the unit inside Vizima is accomplishing plenty. Have any jobs for me? I have a mission for you. One not entirely related to the struggle for freedom. Yavin, cut to the chase. We have learned that the ruins of an elven temple have been found in the sewers beneath Vizima. Not surprising, given the city was erected on elven foundations. We think Lara Dora may have been there, and may have left something behind. Who? You will learn everything if you agree to help. I sent a unit there, but I fear something has gone wrong. I need you to find out what happened. I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. I'd be interested to hear about Lara. Lara Doran. Ep Sheerdal was an elven sorceress, an N7, a knowing one. She carried Hen Ikir, elder blood, which puzzles even us elves. As fate would have it, Lara fell in love with a human sorcerer, Kregenon of Lod. Other humans could not bear it and began persecuting them. They became outcasts, shunned by all around them. No pleas would soften the stone hearts of the cruel and merciless Duan. When Lara, begging mercy not for her but for her unborn child, grabbed the door of the royal carriage, at the king's behest a man-at-arms lashed out with his cutlass, severing her fingers. She fled the city, sought shelter in a forest. When night descended and the frosts came, Lara faded on a hill amidst the trees. She gave birth to a daughter whom she protected with what warmth remained in her waning body. Though a blizzard raged through the night, spring suddenly appeared on that hill, and Fenewed bloomed. Now those flowers grow only in Dol Blathana, and where Lara breathed her last. You must understand the importance of any artifacts. She was exceptional, someone whose loss defies words no matter what the language. Farewell. Who the hell are you? Didn't I see you speaking to Yavin at the camp? Yavin sent me to see what happened to you. A witcher. We're lucky you came. Meaning? We're after elven artifacts. Got into the temple, but once there, I felt a terrible cold and heard a cry. One of my people exploded. Then some thing attacked another of my companions. Only those you see here survived. Slay that thing, whatever it is. You'll be generously rewarded. I'll try. Perhaps the Witcher can manage it. Hurry, before that thing crawls out and threatens the city. I'm doing all I can.
Witcher, you alive? That was worth more than you can imagine. Yavin will pay your price. Interesting. We found nothing. Thanks, and farewell. Kidmill, thank you for your help, Wolf. My payment? 300 orans. And forget what you saw, Dwan. It's not every day I get an illustrious customer like you. Greetings. Can I help you? Lovely inn. You must host many an illustrious guest. True, though not many since this state of emergency. Any other interesting customers? You are nosy. Terrible fault. I have a terrible fault too. I'm greedy as hell. <laughs> I knew we'd agree. I've got nothing against gossiping about my customers now. I'm listening. Ah, oh, these suspicious types have been coming here for a while. The soldiers ignore them. I gather they wear salamander symbols. You know them. Ever listen in? They speak softly. I've heard very little. I'm sure they've said something interesting. Hmm. I overheard them talking about a password to an underground complex. Was it a workshop? What was the password? One said the word, Thorn. Thanks for the information. Bye. Geralt, don't listen to that piss-swilling cheat. What's wrong, Taller? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edicts. But I thought... Where do you get the royal seal, you ball-licking bastard? How dare you accuse me, mongrel? You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Falter's signature? Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, DeWet. I can prove it and you'll hang. You can prove nothing. Surrender and live. Stay out of this, Witcher. Never. You won't take me alive, you bastards. I'll hear both sides. My sources tell me this edict is fake. A normal death would be too kind! Witcher, reveal yourself as an honest man or a coward. What do you want, DeWitt? That scoundrel Taller. He refuses to abide by a royal edict. What edict? The royal edict bearing the very seal of our merciful ruler, Foltest, that strips him of his position. By the authority vested in me, etc., etc., Talar is hereby dismissed from his position as head of the Temerian Intelligence Service. And Talar objects? You're kidding? Yes. Show yourself a real patriot. Kill that pleb. Damn lies. The edict is a fake. This dickless, brainless, sellout zealot burns to see me eliminated. Silence, lice-ridden scab. You will hang, traitor. Geralt, bring me that pleb. He needn't be in one piece. Taller walks. You will regret this, Witcher. You will not get away- Thanks for your help, Geralt. You best disappear for a while. Good idea, but I must speak with you. Later. I need to do something. Fine. Meet me at the new Narakord. Greetings. Much has changed. Townsfolk have violated our swamp. Hmm. Who are these strangers? Dry ones. How dreadful. They drove off the lumberjacks and many were slain. They carry off our kin. The water lords are angry. Only the druids dare remain in the grove. Anything else while I was away? A great battle between a man with a fiery soul and an elven lord. Who won? Our lords were victorious. Praise be to them! May I ask a question? What? Tell me about this battle. The man with the fiery soul came with his steel-clad brothers. They angered the lords and dark waters engulfed them. The one who steps lightly through shadow and whose heart is consumed by hatred went to face them. They met in a terrible, savage battle, staining the waters red. Who won, you ask? The fire or the shadow? My answer is... neither. Thanks. Any other questions? 
I heard you're having problems. Drowners again? Yes, but we have another problem. Speak, Veska. Bandits with salamander badges are forcing my kin to gather herbs. That's very interesting. They separate our kin into groups. Armed guards watch them. Where are they? I saw one group by the Fallen Tower. Please help them. I'll reward you. Their boss, Roland Blyneim, is an evil man. Kill him. I'll do just that. You'll regret the day you were born. Just in time. Return home. May you never suffer drought. What do you know about Salamandra? They forced us to gather herbs, make fistic. One group hides in the cave near the old logging area. Salamandra is involved in the drug trade? Thanks. Return home. We are saved. At last. No, I came on my own. You're free. Hear that, everyone? We're going home. Before you go, tell me what you know about Salamandra. They held us at a camp. One group may be by the old logging area. Thank you. The messenger of the lords lifts me from my knees and tears off my chains. Are you the brickmaker's lost child? I sat on foreign shores, crying and remembering my fatherland. So neither druids nor dryads kidnapped you. Blessed be he who wields a sword against my enemies. Okay. Hurry home. Who is above the lords? Right. I'll be going. Tip that! <laughs> Thanks be to the Lords. You're free. We wish to reward you. What is Salamandra doing in the swamp? They're based at the former non-humans camp. You'd need an army to drive them out. Thanks, I'll remember that. What? I found your missing child. I thank you, White Wolf. He's hard to understand. It has been said. Whosoever understands the Lords will be solitary among the crowd, for their thoughts flow like the deep waters. So he's supposed to be that way. From a drowned woman born, he shall lead those who walk the Lord's path to the underwater kingdom. I'm glad to help. What? I freed all the brickmakers. They confirmed Salamandra's evil deeds. I thank you for your bravery. If you are to destroy the bandits, seek the Hierophant in the grove. The druids are watching Salamandra. I'll do that. I know how best to reward you. Hmm? I bestow upon you the Water Lord's blessing. You may bathe in the holy waters of the swamp and rejoice. I feel truly honored for for who is greater than the Water Lords. What, White Wolf? Welcome. Greetings. 
Do my eyes play tricks? Is it Geralt, the famed white wolf? Indeed. How do you know me? I've heard about you from our friend, Mausak. I lost my memory and don't remember Mausak. A pity. Perhaps I can help, if you stay for a few years. I must attend to urgent matters. Yes. What do you think of the Scoia'tael? I'm uninterested in political conflicts. The druids prevail because we possess nothing that kings covet. They, in turn, know we pose no threat to their power. They may disapprove of you sheltering Scoia'tael. We help all those in need as long as they respect our customs. The elves respect and understand nature. And humans do not. Not all, sadly. Rivers near cities are befouled with waste. Once great forests are logged without restraint. Animals that once thrived have become scarce. I see. Yes? Greetings, Honorable Hierophant. Vasca said you might be able to help with the bandits wearing salamander badges. Welcome, White Wolf. I know what brings you here. I have heard it in the wind and seen it through animal eyes. You know? You battle Salamandra, and have saved many from Salamandra's experiments. Mm-hmm. You cannot enter their secret base. It is too well guarded, even for you. Can you help? Possibly. Their leader wants us to use nature's magic for his purposes. I'll propose a meeting where our chances will be even. What can I do? Bring me a silo side mushroom. They grow in a cave guarded by cockatrices. I will create a potion to entice the salamanders to meet us. When we meet the salamander leader, I'll help your fight. And why do we need this mushroom? The salamanders want a more potent version of their drug. For this, I need the psilocybe. They pester me endlessly. If I send them a sample, they will suspect nothing. Farewell. Yes? I have the mushroom you wanted. Excellent. I'll add it to the potion, then send the birds to deliver it. Is the meeting set? Yes. We'll leave when you're ready. You said we'd leave when I was ready. So, may we depart? I'm ready. We are to meet in a clearing. My friend will come too. It's the least I can do to help. I've never fought alongside a wyvern. Let's go. Be not afraid. My animal allies will help us. Be ready. They will soon arrive. I was born ready. Ooh! <laughs> 
Roland is dead. Search his body. Yes? It's over. The Salamander leader is dead. We are grateful and will always lend you aid. I return to my brethren. Keep safe. Greetings, Witcher. The outskirts cramping you? I was ordered back to Vizima. King Faltest is returning soon. In the meantime, I reward those who tend to public nuisances. Public nuisances? Rewards for monsters. Got anything? Where did you learn about monsters? A family heirloom. A book wherein all beasts are described and shown. Know what it says there? What? Each monster embodies a human iniquity. Devourers. Gluttony. Vampires. Drunkenness. What's a giant centipede embody? Uh. What pays well? A huge wolf has appeared in the swamp, and the locals claim wyverns steal their children. Wyverns don't hunt humans without provocation. Locals, nothing but trouble. They probably tried to drive the wyverns off. I killed an old female wyvern. Here's proof. Six hundred orans is yours. Farewell. Your reputation precedes you. Meaning? Five monsters lie dead. Worth a reward. This runic stone should be useful. What pays well? A huge wolf has appeared in the- Wyverns don't hunt humans with- Locals. I killed a huge wolf. Here's its head. Not on my table, Mr. Geralt. Stinks of disease. Here's 600 orins. Farewell. Master Witcher! What, boy? The bank's been robbed! Master Velorad said we should fetch a Witcher! What's going on? Follow me, Master Geralt! The Skoyatel are robbing the bank! What's happening? Armed robbers have taken over the bank and are holding hostages. Siegfried's leading the assault. Always the hero. Geralt, they need support! Is there another way in? I wouldn't advise a frontal assault. Velorad, hurry. Uh, perhaps you can enter through the warehouse connection. Warehouse? A pedestrian overpass links it to the town hall. It's unused, but I have a key. Unused? 
The women who work at the town hall speak of ghosts. Give me the key. Do something. What are you doing here? I'm here to negotiate. I'm no good at negotiating. Meaning? Yavin's downstairs. I detest you. I detest you. Ellerin. You know the story of Ellerin, Witcher? No, but I think we have more important things to think about. The White Rose of Sherawed, known to dwarves and humans as Ellerin. Two centuries ago, she led the elven youth into battle. Our elders were against it, knowing that success was out of reach, knowing they might not recover from defeat. Yavin, the knights are preparing to attack. Ellerin, the White Rose. She roused the youths to battle. They grabbed their arms and followed her into their last desperate fight. They were massacred, mercilessly. Yavin, the bank is surrounded. They died saying her name, repeating her call, her cry. They died for Sherawad and for Ellerin, just as she had promised with dignity, heroically, with honor. Were you there? Hmm. Have you made your decision? What decision? You can't straddle a fence forever. Especially if that fence runs through the middle of a battle. Are you trying to recruit me? No. With your conscience, you're hardly suited to be a revolutionary. So? I had a reason for telling you about Ellerin. There's a war on Geralt. A war for survival. For freedom. You don't have to be one of us to help us. Many serve our cause as best they can and you're best at slaying monsters. I won't be dragged into a war between the Scoia'tael and the Order. I'm a Witcher. Neutral is all hell. You're a fool, Witcher. It's too late for neutrality. Stand with me now or forever be my foe. I'm not about to slay humans in the name of some vague philosophy. Lay down your arms and maybe you can save what remains of your unit. You're a traitor and a fool! You chose wisely. The Order of the Flaming Rose will be grateful. Siegfried? What are you doing here? You shouldn't. No time to explain. Yevin is escaping into the sewers. <laughs> Flaming Rose! 
The eternal fire guides me. Let's just get him. seems he escaped. But we expelled him from the bank. Thanks to your aid. How can I reward you? Some other time. You know where to find me. Witcher! I heard sounds of fighting! They're all dead. Almost. Almost? Unfortunately, their leader escaped. We'll find him. You deserve a medal. Who roams at night? Geralt. Witcher. Carry a pass, Witcher? Yes. This letter allows you to enter Vizima, not to roam at night. A pass, and I'll slay every Kikimor I find. Deal. Good luck, Witcher. Thanks, officer.